We are in the frozen tundra of Craig, Colorado. We have a lot of tough terrain that we have to navigate across all our lines. Um, you know, mountain passes to wetlands to farm fields. Most of our stuff is out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, uh, we use snow cats for access just because of how much snow that we get up here. In the winter time, there would be pretty much no other way to access this line. This line section that we're standing underneath now is the Meeker to Axial Basin 138 KV line. We've identified cross arms that are cracked or damaged in some way, so we're, we're changing them. We'll be out here for three months. When the snow flies, if we have the work to do, we'll get out and get after it. This is great practice for those emergency situations when we do have to be out here in the more inclement weather. This is just maintenance. As the line patrols come in, they identify things that are wrong with the lines, and that's what we're doing today, is just repairing things. Tri-State maintains over 5,000 miles of transmission line. Today we went up and changed uh, two cross arms on a TH10 tangent structure, and they started to become an impact to the system reliability and put new ones up. We're trying to be proactive instead of reactive. Um, I feel like linemen are a key part in the transmission system, from building it to maintaining it, we keep the lights on. Without linemen, you wouldn't have any of this. Do I enjoy it? I love it. You know, and I think all of these guys love it. Not many people get to do this. Even in line work, there's nothing like cooperatives because we work for our members. And the thing is, uh, members appreciate us. That's kind of our deal, right? We keep the lights on, we like it affordable, we like it safe and, and reliable, and that's why we do it. We want our communities to be safe. We want them to have all the energy that they need in these times when there's snow and there's ice. This is what we do. 